Well, instead of spending their spring break out of town on vacation, these teachers and community members are doing something old fashioned, writing letters to legislators. And today they got some help from students. This is our purpose and that we're not going to just back down. Katie Hopper has been an art teacher in Poto for nine years. Today in her downtown art studio, she and some students spent the afternoon writing letters to Oklahoma lawmakers. Most of us are from this area and choose to be here even though we could go to Fort Smith and make 10 grand more with a 20 minute drive. And we've lost a lot of teachers at Poto because of the pay being so much better just over the border. With teacher salaries among the lowest in the nation, the Oklahoma Education Association says teachers across the state may walk out of class on April 2nd unless lawmakers act. It's something that hasn't happened since 1990. Hopper says it's about more than simply giving teachers a raise. The Education Association also wants proper funding to school districts restored. It's about bettering our state and for our future and we're tired of being last. It's about funding education as a whole. And today these students were glad to try and help by writing their own letters. I just feel like the teachers at our school are being underestimated. This is where you build your life off of. This is the stuff that you're going to put into every day. Shut down. Then teachers tell me that students will still be able to get meals at the elementary and middle school. And it's also important to say that teachers here in Poto do have the support of the superintendent and their school board. Live in Poto, Brett Rains, 4029 News.